Welcome back to Celeste's Corner. So today I'm doing my week 30 to 32 update. And when you guys are gonna be seeing this, I will be 32 weeks. Okay, so the first thing that I wrote down for week 30 was that I had the weirdest dream. And so, okay, so I had a bad dream and it started from around like 8 a.m. in the morning. So I'm just gonna like assume because obviously I don't know what time my dream started because I was sleeping, but I would say that it started around 8 o'clock a.m. And then I woke up at 9 o'clock a.m. And I was like, wow, that was a bad dream. And then, so I went to the washroom and then I browsed through my phone, which I'm looking at a million times, if you guys don't realize. And then, so I browsed through my phone just so I can like, you know, get the dream off my head and like go back to sleep and be good. And then I went back to sleep and the dream continued where it ended. And I was like, really, why couldn't this happen when I'm having good dreams? Cause you know, I think people can relate with me when we say we have good dreams and we want it to continue when we wake up. It's like, oh my God. And then it doesn't happen. But then I had a bad dream and it continued. So that continued and then I woke up. So that was like nine o'clock AM and that continued all the way until 12 30 p.m when i woke up so that dream lasted forever i don't even remember what that dream was but i remember that day and that morning and i was like oh my god and in week 30 i also had one of my weirdest pregnancy cravings ever and i just ate it and there was nothing wrong with me afterwards thank god by the way yeah let's just not even talk about that okay so um yeah, I had my weirdest pregnancy craving. I had two tangerines, a handful of smart food popcorn, the cheddar one, and some Twigs chocolate, which I'm still very obsessed with. Like, I was going crazy last night for some Twigs chocolate, and I got some. But yeah, that was my weirdest pregnancy craving so far, and I ate all those together, and it was just delicious. I had no problem. I thought it was gonna, like, you know, send me to the washroom after, but it didn't. And then by the end of week 30, that's when I realized that I'm actually really, really, really gaining my appetite back. And I think I mentioned that in my last update, but right now it's like crazy. I I want to eat all the time, like constantly. I keep saying like, I'm sorry. Anyways, so yeah, my appetite's going crazy and I want to eat everything in sight, even though I can't because I don't want to gain a bunch of weight. But I've been eating good and so I'm happy about that. And so since we're on the topic of like eating and gaining weight, um, you know, throughout my whole pregnancy, I've been losing weight, but I realized at my last appointment that, so the last time I got weighed and I wrote it down was February 8th. And then the next time after that was March 8th. So in that whole month, usually before this, I would have lost probably like at least five pounds but my weight stayed completely the same for that month so i think that's a really good thing and tomorrow i have an appointment so we'll see if my weight is going up down staying the same but that will be in my next update now for week 31 oh my gosh my my pain in my stomach and the, just the baby kicking me and oh my god the baby loves the left side the left top like right here like literally the baby's sitting here right now and it hurts and i just tried to ignore it because what can i do anyways so that has caused me to not be able to do a lot of things which means even being able to like reach my ankles to like shave my legs or to even lotion my legs i can't do it and this guy has got to help me with this. <laughs> so yeah, Hector helps me with that. He lotions my legs for me because I just stopped doing it and then my legs got all itchy because they were dry. So yeah. And yeah, so back to the point of the baby sitting right here, right now. I keep trying to say like he or she, but you guys don't know the gender yet. So yeah. 
anyways um but so the baby loves to sit right here on my left at the top and it just kills because it kicks me in my ribs like right here on the side and so sitting just straight up like this is very painful for me like when Hector and I play games together I have to be on those pillows in the back and I have to be leaning back um, stuff like that so just sitting like this is so uncomfortable for me right now and the baby's movements are very like rapid and I feel them all the time I will put a clip here where you can see the baby's face and I feel that all day every day and um, I mean I love it because it's the baby moving inside of me but at the same time it makes me very uncomfortable and sometimes like at night time it's very unbearable it's just like I have to I have to like bounce on my yoga ball or do stretches or whatever and side note I popped my yoga ball no not because of that because I got hot glue on it and then it just popped. Don't ask me how I got hot glue on it. That's another story. But yeah, so I popped that and now I have no yoga ball. And so I'm just going through this pain alone. And something that I also talked about in my last update, I think, was my hip pain, especially during the night because you only have two sleeping positions, your left and your right. Your left and your right, your right and your left. Yeah, so that's still a thing. Last night was the best night for that, to be honest. I didn't hurt too much last night, but it still hurt. And I just told Hector yesterday, I was like, I can't wait until I can sleep on my back and I can sleep on my stomach because I'm a back and stomach person. So to be sleeping on my hips, really and like my arms go numb, my whole legs go numb because I'm just sleeping so heavily on one part of my body but yeah so that is it for today's video i'm not sure how long this video is i think it's pretty short so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and come back next week for my next video and the week after that for my next update video and i'll be 34 weeks by then that is crazy so before we leave i will show you guys my belly shot which everybody wants to see wow anyways it looks a lot lower than it did two weeks ago. Interesting. So here is my tummy. My belly button is still not fully out, but it's definitely like, oh my gosh, during the night, and especially if the baby is sitting right here, my belly button pops out and it's pretty much not there. But right now, the baby is right here, like I always say that it is. But yeah, that is my tummy at 32 weeks tomorrow. So yeah, pretty much 32 weeks. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Slash's Corner.